Hello, me again. After a whole week's incarceration, gosh, that form nearly knocked me for six. I don't know about you, but I found it extremely difficult. I'm quite glasses on a minute. I think something's happening to the. I <laughs> sorry. I've been off the planet for a week and I think I still am. I've just been to my doctor's for a checkup because I was getting very concerned. I was just dizzy all the time and insomnia and uh, well I have an ongoing illness called CFS, chronic fatigue, so that's difficult. But all this newer stuff, downloading, uploading, whatever you call it, has just knocked me for six. I've been in and out of bed watching DVDs and I've been on my own for a whole week. So today I had to get out for bread and milk. Who's going to do it for me? I ran out of everything. No, I didn't run out of everything. I have a very good store cupboard. Being born during the war years, I'm very aware that, you know, we have to be careful what we... I've got a good store cupboard and I just have tins and stuff and I got a little deep freeze. So when I ran out of bread, I made some sweet corn fritters, which was very exciting. I made some soup yesterday with vegetables out of the fridge that were looking a bit iffy. Red peppers were lovely. So I'm slowly recovering. But um, today I was just thinking, what a marvellous thing the body is. What a marvellous, marvellous thing. I just sat and cried because I was just thanking my body for taking care of me. I mean, you know, when you think what it has to do, and at my time of life, it's done a lot. <laughs> Operations, anaesthetics, shocks, antibiotics, childbirth. That's another story. Um, so really, I, and I'm still here. <laughs> I don't know at my age how much longer for, but I um, have to wait and see. But uh, it does seem... An incredible machine, doesn't it? You know, so I'm very grateful for all my skills, my wartime skills, and my self-sufficiency Taurian skills. Um, and so I've been in for a whole week, haven't been outside to see this, well, we haven't had any sun. So this morning was quite a treat to go out and see the sun and get some bread and go to the library, you know. So I just want to tell a little story really that what happened when I was in my week's incarceration. Usually when I get up, if I have any sleep, I get up for some breakfast, do a little mess, bit of messing about and then go straight back to bed for another hour because in that hour I have what I call my lucid dream time or meditation. I have to meditate lying down. So it was quite a good hour. I get my most sleep at that time and this time I just it wasn't sleeping, but I went into another dimension. Now, part of my mission here on this plane at this time is to work on the inner planes. I do most of my work on the inner planes. That's why I'm not here half the time. <laughs> Literally not here. Um, so, and I've got 10 masters that um, I have to give a news broadcast to every now and then to tell them what's happening down here. So I have to watch the news, unfortunately. And so my life is really up and down, in and out, trying to manage down here, which is very difficult, as we all know, with all the trials and traumas and finances, particularly for me in relationships. Oh, that's another story. And at the same time, operating on the inner planes, um, which is completely different, different sort of way of being. So, but I've never actually spent a long time on a different in a different dimension I know I've been in the parallel universe I lived there for quite a time that's not very nice but the uh, this particular experience was I think to help me because I had been feeling very very lonely so um, I think this was kind of my subconscious or somebody's idea of keeping me happy and just help me to find some I don't know peace at contact human well it wasn't human was it but it was very nice and I was aware that I was in a, a big building lots and lots of people and um, in one, one man in particular I think he reminded me of a doctor that I used to know many years ago and we just sat and chatted it was just beautiful really really lovely and I when I woke up I thought gosh that was a lovely dream I was smiling and thought wow I've had some companionship I've been somewhere <laughs> It didn't cost me a penny. So I looked at the clock and I'd be gone for two hours. I couldn't believe it. So um, I'm waiting for another opportunity to have a good time. Perhaps I can go... Well, I think we all we all sold... I mean, we all sold travel, don't we? When I'm sitting looking out of the window and my dreadful view, I live in a bungalow and around me are other bungalows full of very old people and all you can see is bricks. 
So when it's raining, all I can see is raindrops and bricks, which is very depressing. So I think, well, next time I can close my eyes, I can go to Italy. I mean, I have been to Italy. So I suppose when we get clever at this stuff, you know, we don't have to stay here. We can do some soul travelling, just wander about a bit, you know. <laughs> Go to the countries you've always wanted to visit here. We shan't need any money. We shan't need to get on the plane. <laughs> um, thing is, the temptation is, and I did find this difficult, was to come back. Um, I, I woke up and I thought, I come back. To, you have to know, apparently, according to the Pleiadians, you have to know how to return to your Earth station. You've got to be very sure about that. Because you could be wandering around there forever, couldn't you? So um, I was aware that I came to I felt very light-headed and it took me a while to actually acclimatize myself to where I was and I thought wow that was quite interesting but a little bit scary actually to think that I, I did that without any I don't know apparent guidance obviously I, I have done it before but so I'm looking forward to the next time <laughs> I don't know how long I've been on the go. How long have I had? Six minutes. I think that's about enough. I'm a bit worn out now. It's time for another lie down. Um, anyway, good to see you. And don't forget, if anyone's got any questions about anything, just let me know. I don't know everything, but obviously I know quite a bit. <laughs> Usually due to my own experiences, I would have. I've, I don't take theories from books or teachings i sort of incorporate like we all do i suppose into our own ways of being and i know there are no rules now so it does become rather fun doesn't it to do what you like so anyway i'm going to sign off now i think this time the camera has taken so my friend will hopefully upload it um for you to see soon take care god bless bye bye